Let's get started with Blender Grease Pencil Basics. Uh, this will be part one covering the interface and the drawing tools. All right, so let's get started. So when you first start Blender, you have the splash screen. You can simply click on 2D animation here to get into the Grease Pencil portion of Blender, which is the 2D animation workspace. All right, you can also go to uh, File, New, 2D Animation, and you'll get the same result. Okay, in case you clicked away from your splash screen and uh, you don't know how to get to the 2D animation. All right, so when we first start uh, Grease Pencil, this is the default layout. I'm using a 1.5 increase resolution on my interface. That's why you see my icons a little bit bigger and the interface a little bit cramped. Okay, so um, let's dive into it. Um, this white canvas area right here is your drawing um, pad in a way so this is your canvas and you can control your canvas by uh, zooming in and out um, you can use your um, mouse for this uh, to scroll you can also use the magnifying zoom lens right here icon you can click and drag that and you can zoom in and out of your drawing you can go super detailed up close or you can pull back and see your entire canvas the hand tool right here uh, this uh, allows you to pan okay the camera here would be a uh, toggle between going into uh, grease pencils camera versus the 3d world bear in mind that grease pencil is a 2d workspace that's residing inside a 3d workspace so if i click this one it pulls you out of your uh, recording camera that's your recording camera right there and this is what it sees when you click that you can orbit here and see the world that you're working on so let's say real quick I'm gonna draw something here if I click this icon right here it pulls you out and you could actually see there's your drawing right there being viewed by that camera okay and so um, if you accidentally click that and then it goes kind of haywire and whatnot, uh, don't panic. Um, click it back and you're back into your drawing uh, screen. Okay. This is also a way to kind of lock it. Um, if you click this icon right here, you can because you can't accidentally uh, rotate this. And then what happens is that that camera, uh, I'm going to point it up. Okay. So when we go out here. You could see it went up there okay so whatever you do do not click the lock icon right there because it will reorient your camera and um, you'll be looking at uh, a different angle when you uh, when you export your movie okay so one way to kind of reset that is uh, we can click uh, undo to uh, to uh, reposition the camera okay um, make sure if that happens undo right away otherwise you're gonna to have to manually uh, reorient the camera using your and it gets complex here using your transform okay so just avoid this too right here when you're in grease pencil especially the lock icon so if you accidentally click that simply click it back okay so zoom pan and we're back to the interface okay so I'll be using the um, annotation right here so I'm not really drawing right now okay and um, so we can put some we can uh, do some pointers here um, and show where all the tools are okay so we have different modes uh, in blender and grease pencil we're in draw mode right now hence we're drawing but if you click the down arrow right here we can go to edit sculpt okay this uh three things right here there's three modes are we're going to be spending the most um, of our time in grease pencil draw mode probably uh, and edit mode will share pretty much the same time uh, sculpt mode uh, definitely will be here because it this um, accelerates our editing uh, because of the uh, proportional editing feature of it okay uh, weight paint vertex and object mode um, object mode for sure when we're in advanced uh, classes when we're dealing with 3d elements within 
the 2D animation portion of uh, Blender, which is Grease Pencil. So uh, draw mode, when we're in draw mode, uh, you have sets of tools right here. Keyboard shortcut to hide the toolbar is T, okay? Actually, let me turn on my screencast. I don't think it's on, it should be on, but there we go. All right, keyboard shortcut T for toolbar. If I switch to edit mode, context change for edit mode, okay? And then if I go to sculpt mode, the brushes, the tools would change for that. So when you're, um, most of our students, they have this issue where they're in the wrong mode and they're looking for certain tools, they don't see it. That simply means, uh, you know, they're not available because you are not in the correct mode. You are drawing, you are editing, you are sculpting. Okay, so this toolbar right here, and I want to make sure here that um, you are always, when you're starting and you don't want to animate and you just want to draw, you're always on the first frame here in your timeline. If you tap your space bar accidentally, this will move, okay? So the problem with that is your timeline or your dope sheet moves, and then the next time you draw, like if I draw here, that is already animated. So one first frame and then we jump to the next one. So I'm gonna click undo, command Z or control Z. Make sure you're mindful of that, okay? So we're sticking to frame one because we're just kind of demoing the interface here. All right, um, uh, that's pretty much it for now. And then let's uh, do our annotation. So I'm gonna go to annotation. I'm on frame one right here. So this are your, uh, this is your toolbar right here. All right, where it says file, edit, render, window, and help. Those are your top menu. Okay, where you save your uh, grease pencil file, your blender file, where you undo the works. Those are, uh, and render, very important when we output our animation, okay? And then where it says 2D animation, 2D full canvas compositing and rendering, those are called workspaces. So we are not doing any of those in 2D animation one. Compositing is gonna go to uh, 2D animation two. So 2D animation uh, is where you're gonna stay, okay? And um, you could butcher the layout here by accidentally uh, customizing your UI. When that happens, uh, you want it to go back to the way it was. You can click on plus here, 2D animation and 2D animation. It'll give you a new bar, I mean a new tab right here, where you can have um, uh, a brand new interface, uh, un unmodi unmodified. And then if you're getting annoyed by the copy right here, you can simply right click this one and you can delete that. So nothing happens to your animation, it's just the way Blender is uh, laid out, okay? Because this is still um, ma um, customizable. So if I hover my mouse here at the edge, uh, horizontal edge, it changes so that I can give priority to my timeline right here, okay? And then a vertical uh, option right here, give priority to my property panel. All right, so everything is, uh, like I said, um, customizable and totally up to you how you want to change that. All right, so another one is a uh, keyboard shortcut N as in numbers. This will be your sidebar, okay? So this is the sidebar, and we need this sometimes to uh, get pre uh, precision with our uh, positioning and whatnot, but you will barely use this while you're just drawing and animating uh, freehand, okay? So keyboard shortcut N, uh, it will disappear because I will um, get rid of it after. So that's a sidebar, keyboard shortcut is N, okay? And then we go up here, so, oops. The uh, collection, so we call this collection, so this is your grooving and layering in a way, okay? So you can hide and unhide your drawing, uh, your stroke right here, this is your grease pencil object. 
if you're working with multiple stroke you'll have or grease pencil object you'll they'll be listed right here there's the camera and if you're in the advanced class you might be using some fancy uh, um, lighting and whatnot all the all your objects would be right there All right, so let's get into um, the next part. Okay, so this whole part right here, this is your property panel. So I'll just go kind of make a bracket for it. All right, so we're gonna call this one property panel or properties panel. Okay, and we have two important uh, items right here or tab. Um, First one right here is this green uh, squiggly line right here. This is your grease pencil uh, tab. So this is where you find all the layers. Okay, uh, onion skin. And various uh, ways to modify your stroke, like uh, give it thickness, so on and so forth. Okay, and below it, is your materials or color so this is where you create your color okay and uh, do your selection so on and so forth so by default you get four uh, when you just start uh, 2d animation in grease pencil and then um, you can did uh, you know you can get rid of this you can add new ones so on and so forth okay so the one below is your color, the one on top is your material. And then when we go all the way to the top right here would be the uh, active menu. Okay, whatever is active, meaning if I have the draw uh, pen uh, tool, uh, everything on top below the workspace right here can be accessed in detail in the property panel right here okay so if I go to edit okay um, since we don't uh, have anything other than what's in here if I go to sculpt mode there we go so whatever's uh, pertaining to that context is always the active one it changes okay so when we go to draw mode uh, a lot of the stuff we can access here for color is mimic right here so it's the same thing okay and we want to go in more detail um, of course the materials what we're going to click here would be the same as what's happening down here okay so basically that's the active one okay um, this one right here would be the engine do not touch this for now okay and then this is the other important one right here so i'm going to go back to my annotate it looks like the printer icon okay this is your output or export so this is where we export our animations you set up your size your um, start and end frame and we work at 24 frames per second okay and then your output you give it uh, we use QuickTime for our output right here uh, video so on and so forth or still image okay so for now those are what matters uh, and then later on we'll learn about uh, layers and um, what we need to turn on for multi-layer uh, export but for now it's the highlights right here are the important ones so our layers grease pencil our color material the output later on and then the active one um, you don't really need to go to the active because you can access most of those tools up here okay and then our collection right here okay because um, in order to draw and whatnot you need to have your stroke selected uh, that particular object because you can have multiple of these and if you want to draw on that particular object okay um, so that's what makes grease pencil kind of unique and special is that even though it looks like you're drawing in 2d you're actually living in a 3d world and it's object based okay all right, so uh, next here would be our timeline. So below here, this is the timeline, the entire thing. OK, 
okay and this is your dope sheet basically okay it's a horizontal one instead of a vertical so you draw and you move your time to draw on the next frame so on and so forth until you fill this up with bazillion drawings and you get your animation so let's say we're animating in twos meaning we're skipping one frame so we animate in one three five seven so on and so forth so if i want to draw let's say this circle to move up on frame three i'll go to my draw tool and pick my brush ink pen and i would draw up here and the moment i let go uh, it gives me an onion skin saying that this light um, greenish tint is from a previous frame and then here's my new drawing so you can now go frame by frame if I go to frame 5 and I want it to go up and I just want to freehand it let's say should have laid down on that uh, laid low on that coffee there you go and if I go back so we have the before present and after so this is how you basically manage your um, timeline is by drawing frame by frame. So in a nutshell, uh, kind of simplifying things, uh, that is your interface and where all the, all these things are. And as we move on to other lessons, we'll have, um, uh, we'll uh, go through them in details, uh, like in draw mode, edit mode, and sculpt mode, and then the property panel as well. All right, so this is part one.